Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, a trucking man. So the past couple of weeks, the miles have been pretty crappy. <laughs> um, basically only took home like $500 for one week and then uh, $800 the week before this one. Um, I received a phone call from dispatch. Um, I guess you could call it the dispatch manager. I forget exactly the specific title, but they do this thing at this company where they call in, they check in once a month. So I pick up the phone, you know, hello, hey, this is so-and-so, uh, just calling to check in and see how you're doing with the company. I see here you're doing a great job, you're on time, you're this, you're that. I said, yeah, I'm a little concerned about my miles actually. Past couple of weeks has been kind of... <clears throat> All right, well, don't worry about that. Um, freight is actually doing really well. Uh, better than usual for the winter, he says. I say, okay. He's like, uh, when that happens, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I said, yeah, I wanted to give it a little time. Money's been good, and, you know, I'm trying not to rock the boat too much. Um, my dispatcher's great. Uh, this company's been great. The miles have been great. You know, it's just been a couple of weeks. He's like, oh, yeah, all right, I see that. He said, but as soon as you have um, a week where your miles are dipping below what we promised you, you give us a call, and we'll make it right. I said, okay. And that's the thing with companies, you guys, is, um, you know, every company is going to try to sell you a story, right? This many miles, this much for tarping, uh, you're going to get a bonus here and there. Uh, bonuses usually are taxed. Miles, they vary. But I'm telling you, with the company that I'm with, they really do seem to care and of course this is the flatbed community so you're always going to have someone there to give you advice to help you out to show you the right way etc long story short i'm now running i see i'd made a delivery yesterday to mainland oregon and then drove up the what is it, the 97 to here in madras oregon and i'm about to get loaded with some lumber and just had the conversation with this guy two, two evenings ago or afternoons ago. Yeah, two afternoons ago. And made good on their promise. I am now running this load from here in Madras, Oregon to, where is it in Georgia? Long story short, it's 2,500 miles. So it's going to deliver on Wednesday, not Tuesday. Our cutoff uh, is Tuesday before noon. So if you unload Tuesday before noon, your dispatcher, your, uh, your driver manager will get with payroll and let them know and make sure that they get uh, the pay for those miles on that load on your check that Friday. So that's what happened with one of these past loads for me. Otherwise, it would have been crap miles again. <laughs> and um, that's actually something new that I learned. I thought the cutoff was before Monday night, Tuesday morning, midnight. You get me? So that's good. So I'm going to start off my new week, this load, okay, with 2,500 miles. So... By the, two, by the following Tuesday, depending on what miles, what kind of miles they give me, I'm already starting off the week with 2,500 miles. So that's good. That's very good. Sure, this load isn't going to go on next week's paycheck, right? It's going to go on the following week's, on the following Friday's paycheck, but it's going to have a stack load of miles. And with only having a couple of weeks where it's been crappy, not bad, you know, not bad. 
by then I think within these four months that I've been here I should be grossing a total of actually netting not grossing pretty close to 20 thou should be yeah it should be pretty close to 20,000 but I will let you guys know so that's good you know that payroll period is going to start with 2,500 miles so I'm, I'm happy about that um actually it should be 2,600 miles because there was 211 empty miles and then it says something like 24 2475 loaded miles but the loaded miles are actually almost 2600 so I'm gonna get with my DM and, and they'll correct that they'll get it a little closer like they did countless other times you know there's no problem with it so I'm probably looking at more like 25 so 25 they'll give me for sure plus another two 2700 miles so, you know, even if I have a 500 mile run, you know, I'm looking at 31, 3,200 miles and you know, I'm going to get more than that, especially when I'm making the delivery on Wednesday, you know, and the cutoff is the, the, the Tuesday following that Wednesday, you know, fantastic. It's, it's going to be a stacked week. I should gross maybe a couple thousand, you know, <laughs> which means I'd be bringing home 14, 1500 now. If you want proof and you want evidence of that check, email me and I will send you my pay stub, okay? I don't lie, I don't talk crap. For those of you that have followed me on this channel from the beginning, you know, when I started trucking, you know I tell the truth. When I was with JB Hunt, I put my paychecks on the glass, so to speak, and I don't just, I don't just talk crap, man. And I'm not going to refer you to a company that's going to screw you over. Okay. We've already had talks about local and OTR. You know, you got to be strategic. You got to think and have a plan uh, in this business so that you're not just spinning your wheels. A trucking man. Let me see if I got a good view to show you guys here. Yeah, I do. I do. Check this out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. How's that coming out there? Which mountain that is, I actually don't know. Um, I'm up here, like I said, in Madras, Oregon. So I'm up here by, I don't even know which national forest. I gotta look at the map, but I believe that would be Willowa Whitman National Forest, but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure where I made my previous delivery, I was over there still in the Klamath National Forest. That I know. So, anywho, without further ado, I'm gonna let you guys go. All you truckers out there, you stay safe. See you on the road.